Proverbs 30 verse 5, Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in Him. Uh, I entitled this devotion as Divine Providence Over the Lives of Men. Um, bibilis ako na lang po. As I quote, John Piper in his book, Providence in page 157, he said, What we have seen in all stages of providence before creation, through the work of creation and in the election of Israel, the exodus, the conquest of the promised land, the period of the judges, the monarchy, and the exile in its reversal, is that the ultimate purpose of God's providence is that God be known and enjoyed and praised for who He really is. As He said, you shall know that I am the Lord. And then as I quote the old hymn of Mr. William Cowper, The Mysteries of Providence, it has a uh, hymnal lyrics, lyrics that judge not the Lord by feeble sense, but trust Him for His grace. Behind a frowning providence, He hides a smiling face. His purpose will ripen past, unfolding every hour. The bad may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. Blind unbelief is sure to err, and he will make it plain. The church or the Christendom, after all, does not follow a genie or from a battle, but a God who became a man and descended to a cross. His atoning death is not an end. He rose and he carried us with him, our depths, our pain out of the collapsing world in which we live. Let us all start with this in prayer. Father, we are thankful for your providence that you are sovereign after all. Your grace abound. Help us, Father, to see you are the one who is, have this absolute authority in this world. Help us to see the wickedness of men and help us to relay and trust and have faith in your hands and in your will. Father, as we start this morning, help us to see your word, your truth in your word, and help us, Panginoon, to see that your grace is all we need. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the life of Christ. It's all yours. It's our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. As we proceed sa ating prayer, we can give our prayer request at Google Meetings, and then I encourage, uh, let's start with the prayer for the concern of public worship for the teachings and finances. I invited every one of us to pray. Let, us, let every one of us bow down. Let us pray, Father. Kami po ay nagpapakumbaba. Dakilang Ama, dakilang Diyos, puno ng grasya. Kapangyarihan sa lahat. Kami ay nagpapakumbaba sa umaga na ito, humihiling ng iyong grasya at habag. Kung wala ang iyong grasya at habag, Panginoon, ay wala kaming kakayahan na lumapit sa iyo. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, na makalapit sa pamamagitan ng isang anak na si Sokri.